Hello fellow music people. Today I am going to be doing my very first sound design tutorial on FL Studio 21 on the desktop. So, um, that was my very first time doing it, so uh, let's see how it goes. Anyways, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an electric piano or Rhodes piano, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, the reason why I wanted to make this is because you can basically use it for pretty much any genre. Um, it's, it's just a really nice sound. So I'll be teaching you guys how to do it in Citrus and in GMS, uh, which are both stock plugins. I am quite an advocate when it comes to stock plugins. So um, expect my tutorials to um you know to feature stock plugins from FL Studio. I don't not sure if this could work for other DAWs or for other um uh, for other plugins, but um yeah so right here I've already I've already done this before so I'll basically be recreating this sound. Um uh hold on, I gotta turn this on a really nice sound and on GMS I have another one another preset let's see um, here we go um, just a nice sound so um, so for now I'm just gonna go to default preset um, make sure you're on the main or Actually, we'll go to op we'll go to op one or operator one just so. Actually, you don't really need to do that because it's basically just a sine wave. You don't really have to uh, do anything here. You could mess around with the OSC um, wave shape, whatever. Just kind of make your own. Oh, okay, that's not very good, but uh, we don't need to do that for now. You could mess around with it if you want, but you know, for the sake of simplicity, we're just gonna use. Um, we're just gonna kind of turn this up a little bit. This is like an FM modulator. Um, and then we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna run it through a filter. And then we'll turn that on. So it should sound something like that. And then what you wanna do is, um, so actually we're gonna go to the main tab real quick and we're gonna turn this up I like to do four. It should sound something like that. It'll basically add uh, more more unison, make it sound a bit wider. Um, so I like to also turn this on because it sounds okay. That's actually way too loud. So we're gonna turn it down a little bit. Um, that sounds pretty good. Um, so I recommend you just play around with this. So, so this one really changes it a lot. So we're gonna turn this one. Uh, I think that's pretty good. And then the phase, I wouldn't really worry about this too much, but, but we'll just put it like that. And then this, I don't think this really matters too much, but we'll just leave it like that. So really just play around with this. Um, and pick out what you like. So, so now we're going to go here. You want to go to your mod tab and I'm sorry if I go too fast. Uh, you can always just pause and I don't know, replay it a bunch of times, see what you like. So you want to go to your, your key mod or, or key mapping. And then you want to kind of turn this down a bit. Um, I think I think I had it like this before, so kind of like a straight line here, and then we'll do another one here. Um, something like that. So it's supposed to be for the um, higher notes to not sound as harsh. Because um, if you guys heard it before or earlier, it did sound very loud um, when we had it like around here. But I mean, I would still turn this down just so, just so it doesn't destroy your ears or completely sound like garbage. 
Um, but yeah, like that should be good. Um, and then we can do the same thing here. Um, so this will just be the overall volume. That's for like the cutoff or for the um, for the harmonics, pretty much. And this is for the volume. So I think I I have it like around the same. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything too complex, but but there we go. It sounds a lot better. Um, um, yeah, it should be good. And then and then you want to go here. You want to push this back, and then you can move this back as well if you want. And then there we go. It'll sound a little bit plucky, but that's just to kind of give it a nice attack. Um, you can play with the tension curve if you want. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can add another point here if you want. This is what I'll do. So there we go. It's supposed to like simulate um, you hitting the key very hard, I guess. Like a real life piano. But Something like that should work. Um, and then you can do the same thing with the mod envelope. Just kind of do the same thing as you did with the... Uh, you can remove this last point if you want. But it's roughly the same. So it even sounds good with like low notes too, which is what I really like about the sound. Um, but there we go, that should be good. Um, so now we're gonna go to the filter. Uh, we're gonna actually, we're gonna go to our cutoff envelope. You can also mess around with this, this is what I like to do. Oh, what the heck was that? Uh, we're gonna push this back once again. And then, I guess you can get rid of this last point, you don't really need it, but you can sort of do something like this. I think I had a little bit below the um, the halfway mark, but so you can you can add it down there if you want. I think that sounds pretty good. I think I had it something like that, um, and then we're gonna run it through another FX or another filter modulator. You want to go to your FX, you want to turn this one all the way up here, the second one, not the first one, but the second one. And yeah, um, you want to turn this down. You can mess around with the chorus effect if you want. You can do it through Citrus or through um, your mixer, um, your mixer tab, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, but... Uh, we're just going to leave it off for now, but you could mess around with it. I'm just going to turn this down. Actually, I think I had it somewhere here. I don't know, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. For the reverb, um, we're going to turn this on here. So I find that's a little bit too much the case, so we're going to... Let's see. Oh, um, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So you can turn it down here or from here. I think I had it a little bit. I think I had it something like that. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. Um, for the color, I think I, I think I like the warmer. Uh, yeah, you want to have it up warmer or W plus here. It also tells you right there what your, um, the I guess the color of the reverb. So. Just keep an eye out for that. Um, and then for your second filter, I'm going to change it to a high cut. Let's see, or a high pass. And then... All right, that's just for the low end to not get very muddy. And then for here... Um, you could mess around with this cutoff here.
just gonna leave it like that for now. That sounds pretty good. So, so that's basically it for um, you know, it's very simple sound. You don't really have to mess around with it. I mean, you could if you want. It's up to you whether you want to change the shape of it or do it through the oscillator. Uh, we can also mess around with the unison. Um, really have a lot of control over the sound. Um, and then if you want to add some effects here, I would probably recommend going for a EQ. You can do a low or not a low, uh, a high pass. Or I guess, yeah, low cut's also another way to call it, but... All right, I gotta, there we go, one. Something like that should work. Um, uh, very nice sound. Um, but there you go, that's how you make an electric piano in Citrus. Now we're gonna do it in GMS or Groove Machine Synth. Um, this one, I'd say it's a little bit easier. Um, you basically just need, actually we're gonna go to, well, I always forget how, but you gotta go to default, just to reset it. The menu's a little bit different from Citrus, so it might be confusing at first, but, but I mean, you can just follow along, it shouldn't be too bad. Because um, all you really need is a couple of sine waves. Uh, so I'll just quickly change them. And it should sound something like that. And then you want to you wanna turn up the voices. I like to do... You can do three, two... I think I had it at... I had it at four, but it's a little different than GMS than Citrus, so... I don't know, it might sound different for you, but we're going to turn up the stereo a little bit. I think I, I think I like it at 60-ish. We can have a little bit of detune. We're going to do, let's do 40. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds good. And then, let's see, what do you do next? Um... You want to change the the ADSR or the shape of the sounds. So you want, uh, I believe, you want the sustain um, around the halfway mark. That sounds good. And you can also play with the sh uh, with the pitch shifting. So you can do twelve, and then I think this one you can move it down. One octave, or I think I just had it at zero. So you can turn up, turn up the second oscillator here. Um, uh, or, or I think you can also lower it and then turn this off and then move the. Okay, that that doesn't sound very good, but oh, it's because I. You gotta do two to one of them. There we go, that's what you want, so. So then you can move this up to. There we go, now, now this is sounding better, so. All right, much better. And then you wanna go here to your filter tab and you wanna lower the cutoff just a little bit because you might have heard some very harsh sounds so that's pretty good um what else can you do you can also go to your eq tab here and i think i i lower the high end just because you can sometimes hear little i don't know just let me turn it back up Okay, maybe oh, it's probably because I turned this down, but you can also do it here or 
or in the filter tab. You can also turn on the keyboard tracking if that helps. Um, anything else you can do? Um, you can, again, you can mess around with the unison if you want, increase the voices. It sounds very good in, you know, no matter how much you change it, it sounds good. Even, even with one voice, it still sounds very good. But I think four or two, two to four sound very good to me. Um, what I like about GMS is that you can also, you have like all your effects right here in this tab here. So you can, if you want to add a little bit of distortion, you can. Um, you've also got your reverb right here, which is where we get a citrus, so we'll do it here. So that already sounds pretty good. So maybe this, I think that's good. Uh, the filter doesn't really do much, but I guess we'll leave it like that. Um, what else? Um, maybe some echo or delay. Eh, that's not too bad. We can maybe add a little bit of delay. Or what else can you add? Um, you got a high pass filter or low pass. Uh, we already did a low pass filter here, basically. So you can also do it here if you want. But we'll, we'll, we'll do a high pass filter. Like that sounds that sounds pretty good already, but. But I still want a little bit of the low end, so we'll do it like that. And then this is basically like your resonance. So if you want maybe like a harsher cutoff, you can add that if you want. And that's basically it. Um, so I think I think they both sound great. Again, you could use it for pretty much any anything, any genre. If you're just looking for a nice, quick, low-end sound to fill up the mix, this is a great way to easily achieve that. So, yeah, um, that's going to be for this video. If you guys want to, um, you know, leave a request for another sound design tutorial you know, for, for next time, you know, I would like to, I would like to maybe do, uh, turn this into a series, so... So please leave any requests if you want or any criticism. And if you have any questions about, you know, about this video, if maybe you were having trouble achieving something, I could maybe help in the comments. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. See y'all next time. Peace.